Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I know we've had a bit of a break, so I figured today we would kind of get our creative juices flowing again. Uh, so today's prompt is called Things on Things. Uh, so basically, I'm going to be giving you a bunch of different prompts of things to draw. Um, you can choose, the prompts are gonna be really vague, so you're gonna choose exactly what it is that you want to draw. And we're going to pile these things on top of one another. You can add things to the other pictures that you're doing. You're basically just compiling a page full of different images and having fun with it, okay? So no stressing about drawing perfectly or making it look uh, orderly. This one is supposed to be um, kind of just like a chaotic, um, organized chaos, I guess, is what it is supposed to look like. Um, but yeah, try and have fun with this one and take on challenges. If, if I say, um, if I give you a prompt and you think of something, but you're scared to draw it or scared to try and draw it, take as much time as you need, have a pencil and eraser there with you. If it's becoming frustrating, then just erase it and start with something new. Again, this is not something that's supposed to be stressful. It's something that I want you to have fun with and just, like I said, get those creative juices flowing. So, our first prompt is going to be something that goes fast. So, anywhere on your page, I want you to draw something that is fast or that goes fast. Okay? Let's start. All right, so my something fast was a sports car or my version of a sports car of what I could draw. Um, next up is an animal. So any animal that you like, you are going to add to your page. Now, a few options. You can do all of these things completely separate or um, as the title suggests, we're doing things on things. So you're gonna kind of keep stacking the things one on top of the other or have them touching in some sort of way. So however much um, connection, interconnection you want between each picture is up to you. Um, but yeah, we will go on to our animal and you guys can put it wherever you like, just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, let's go. Good, so I did a giraffe for my animal. Um, your animal could be big, it could have been small. Um, again, totally your choice in what you feel comfortable drawing and what animals you're more drawn to. Um, the next one that we are going to do is a ball. So super simple, any type of ball, like soccer ball, baseball, 
tennis ball, whatever kind of ball you want to draw, and however you want to incorporate it into your image, go ahead and do that right now. All right, so my giraffe just so happens to be juggling tennis balls with his tail. Um, again, incorporate things exactly how you want to incorporate them. Uh, the next thing we are doing is something you would find in your kitchen. So anything uh, that you would find in your kitchen or dining room even, um, you can now incorporate that into your image. Okay, so now I have a giraffe sitting on top of a sports car, juggling tennis balls and holding a toaster with toast popping out, out of it. Um, so let's continue. Uh, the next thing is something heavy. So now find a spot on your picture and add something heavy to it. So added to my drawing now is a very large, very heavy boulder that has smashed into the top of the sports car. All right, let's move on. So the next thing we are going to draw is something cheesy. Now you can take that figuratively or literally. It can be cheesy as in lots of cheese on it or cheesy as in something silly. Um, however you want to take that is totally up to you. But now add that to your image wherever you like and then we'll can keep going on. So now that I've got some cheese pizza flying through the air, um, we are going to move on to our next one, which is something breakable. Uh, so something glass, something delicate that is easily broken. Um, the options are endless. So something breakable wherever you like on your page.
So now my giraffe has some glasses, as you can see. Good. So keep going, guys. We're going to continue stacking. Uh, the next one uh, that we're going to do is something super sized. So, so um, take something that's normally relatively small and you're going to draw it extra large on your page. Okay, let's do it. I've added a uh, extra large, super sized pencil to my uh, image of things on things. Um, to continue, we are now doing something hot. So think of something hot, it can be a drink, can be a food, can be something in nature that's hot, it can be the sun, um, and add it to your image. All right, next up, we are going to add your name somewhere to your image. You can engrave it into something. You can do bubble letters or graffiti. Um, however you want your name to show up uh, on your image is how you should do it. All right, so let's add your name. And after your name, we are now adding an activity. Uh, so it can be like a physical activity, it could be a sport, it could be um, a hobby, any sort of activity that you enjoy or that you find interesting, or just one that you feel like drawing, go ahead and add it to your uh, image. So I've just added added to my picture a very cool surfer dude. Um, I've only been surfing like twice in my life and I was pretty terrible at it, but I think it's a super cool activity. So I decided to add it to this picture. Um, so the next thing that we're gonna add is a party treat. So something that you typically have at parties or your favorite party treat, uh, go ahead and add that to your picture.
All right, and our very last prompt is something light, something that doesn't weigh, uh, weigh very much. Uh, yeah, something light. There you go, guys. There's our things on things uh, kind of creative um, prompt. I hope this got the internal juices flowing and I hope that um, it wasn't stressful. I hope you had fun um, and I hope you have kind of a fun piece of art to look at after this. Um, it's kind of neat to see what you can put together when you're not worried so much about um, what exactly you're making um, and every little bit is kind of a surprise coming up after one another But yeah, uh, that's everything for today, and I will see you guys on Wednesday